as a labor and employment lawyer, uh, I've seen um, many broken workplace relationships, uh, many broken workplaces, uh, and I've also seen over and over again how the systems that we use to respond to broken workplaces, workplace conflict, workplace misconduct, um, too often those systems fail to uh, repair the harm uh, that individuals have experienced in the workplace. Too often uh, those systems uh, fail to, uh, or actually uh, exacerbate the harm. And almost invariably, I think, those systems fail to take advantage of opportunities to enhance workplace relationships. So I'm very pleased to uh, introduce to you our next panel on a restorative approach at work. I'm going to very briefly introduce each of the panelists uh, and uh, the topic that go they're going to address. So first, uh, uh, we have speaking. And if you could stand up when I introduce you, because you're not in the order of, of speaking. So Bruce Archibald. Uh, Bruce is a professor of law at the Dalhousie University Schulich School of Law here in Halifax. And Bruce is also a labor arbitrator and mediator. Uh, Bruce will talk about uh, the potential for a restorative approach to frame labor relations generally. Next, we'll hear from uh, Chris Marshall. Uh, Chris is uh, the Chair in Restorative Justice at Victoria University of Wellington in New Zealand. And Chris will talk about uh, using a restorative approach to workplace conflict resolution uh, using the healthcare environment as an illustration. Then Kevin Reed. Kevin is a captain with the Halifax Regional Municipality Fire Service and also president of the Halifax Association of Black Firefighters. And Kevin will discuss the potential for a restorative approach for dealing with issues of inclusion uh, and building a healthy workplace climate, particularly in a command and control workplace. And fourth and finally, we'll have Salim Tariq who is uh, the director of, uh, or sorry, the chief officer, children's social work for Leeds City Council in the UK. And Salim will talk about the potential for a restorative approach to organizational culture, including the changes that would be required to leadership and management if one is taking that approach, using the example of the children's social work service in Leeds. Uh, Bruce, could you start us off? <laughs> 